welcome to another microbit video from me, Mr. Morrison. Today I am going to show you how to create this game, a little simple target or goal football game that you can use tin foil, cardboard and some crocodile clips to create a great project. So for our goal or target, this is the materials we need, some cardboard, some tin foil, two crocodile clips, our micro bit, and then some sort of straw or it could be a skewer to hold the goal bit in place. So the first stage is going to be drawing out our goal that we're going to cut out. Now I've already drawn it here and I've made my goal 12 centimetres wide by 10 centimetres high. Now that's the main bit in the middle. I need to also add an edge because that's going to be the edge of the goal and we're going to make this into a box so you need to include all the edges so if you then add a four centimeter um, wide bit all the way around so if you measure and mark measure and mark all the way around join that up you then have this box and we're going to have bits that are flaps that when we fold it together we'll be able to um, join them in so we need to know that we're going to cut this line here cut this line here we're going to cut this line here and we're going to cut this line here and so this bit here is going to be a fold this bit here is going to be a fold this bit here and this bit here let's cut and fold that that's my box secured so now we're going to have to add in another bit in the middle it's going to be our swinging bit. So let's cut another bit of cardboard out. So now I've got my little bit. I can drop it inside and that's fine. It fits. So next we are going to have to do the tin foil bit. So I'm going to take a bit of tin foil and I'm going to cut a bit to size that I can glue in to the back there. And then the other one, so that's going to be one end of my switch. It's going to essentially be a switch. And then the other end of the switch is going to have to be on the back of this. So maybe a slightly bigger bit that I can wrap round here for a good, a good contact at the bottom there. So now that I have a bit of tin foil that's wrapped right round here, that's going to act as my switch. So I'm then last thing going to do is have this hanging. Now that could be with I have got a plastic straw here, but it's really whatever you could get your hands on that can act like that. So I am going to, I think, put the holes in either side for this and then we'll attach it so i've now made my holes here and that means the straw can go all the way through from one end to the other like that and make sure there's a little bit of wiggle room so whatever it is spins nice and easily and then we can just attach this onto the straw so you may it may be a bit fiddly to attach it to the straw but I'm sure we'll get there. So once you've got it, you may want to test that it goes back to where it should be after each time. You might have to adjust things slightly. But the last thing you can do is a little bit of decoration. So I could stick this on so it makes it look like more of a goal. And here's the completed goal with a little bit of decoration and it swings. So last thing we need to do is we need to connect our micro bit. So to connect our micro bit, I would suggest cutting a bit of a slot at the top, and then we're going to have to feed a couple of cables in. So we need one cable to go and connect to the bottom bit of tin foil. It can be anywhere on the bottom bit of tin foil. You might want to either sellotape or blue tack the cable in just so it's not going to go anywhere and then the other one we want to come down the back of this and attach to our goal 
again you want to secure that so it doesn't go anywhere remember to link up pin zero with the front of the goal and gnd with the back of the goal like that so to create the code for our goal we are going to need on start and forever so we'll keep them in and we're going to need to create a variable and we're going to call the variable score so not too complicated there and on start we're going to set the score to zero but we're also wanting to show the score as well so we'll show number and we go back to variables and we find score so now it will show the number score of course that number is currently zero then i would like to have in forever i would like to have an if so if i go into logic and choose if true then and i want an input of the pin zero is pressed so if pin zero is pressed it's going to do something so it's going to change the score by one and let's have a nice melody when it does that so if i go into music and i will find play melody and i quite like the power up melody if i can find it there we are so it find that and I'm also going to add a little bit of animation here. So let's have a icon. Let's see, we'll have the this one going to another one. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go to the small one. So you could have a short animation, only a couple of frames. And then finally, we'll show the number of the score again. So go into variables and score. So now, on start, it's going to set the score to zero, show the number score. If pin zero is pressed, it's going to change the score by one, make a little noise and tell you the score. Last thing I'm going to do is add in a way to set the score to zero. So if I drag in on button A pressed, I'm going to duplicate um, what's in here. Easiest way is to duplicate the whole on start bit, drag the bit you need and drag on start away. And finally, I think we could have uh, another melody here, but maybe a uh, one that's kind of a downwards one. This means now when we press pin zero, it's going to start scoring like that. So we should be able to reset the score by pressing button A and then increase the score by hitting the goal. There we are, like this and that will keep going on forever.